All, all right, right, here to we'll react to all of this, uh, Hadley Heath Manning is Independent Women's Voice Senior Policy. Aaron Elmore is a Trump surrogate. We've got Steve Murphy. He is a Democratic strategist. Thanks to all of you for joining us today. I want to put up that email from Uma Abedin where she says, if HRC was not part of it, the meeting was a non-starter. The king has personally committed approximately $12 million, both for the endowment and to support the meeting. She created this mess, and she knows it. Hadley. She's, Huma Abedin is calling this a mess, it seems, because here you have Hillary Clinton who had just announced that she was going to go run for office, and she's taking $12 million from a foreign government, which looks terrible, is a total conflict of interest. It's a country with a mixed human rights record at best. How do you react to that? Well, I agree. It's a mess. What else can you say about it? This is, unfortunately, another example of pay for play. It's another example of a, sc a scandal on a laundry list of scandals that the Clintons have faced. And it casts a lot of doubt over how Ms. Clinton would govern. Would she be the type of president who would treat all Americans fairly? Or is she going to take this sort of pay for play attitude into the White House? Yeah, I mean, Steve, I don't know how you get around that it's a tremendous conflict of interest when we're seeing the emails that her own team is scrambling, trying to figure out how they're going to cover it, how they're going to deal with it. What's the response? There's what they were trying to deal with was who's going to go to Morocco for the event. Yeah. She's a presidential no candidate. She, there's nothing wrong with collecting that money. That money is How used to try to help people who are HIV positive. And Morocco is a strong, strong, very strong ally of the United States in the fight against well, Islamic if, if terrorism the case, in the then, fight then against ISIS. Why does Huma Abedin, like all the rest of us, think it's, it's a mess? A and it's a mess that about money who's coming going to, to go support there. the event and pay everybody in the Clinton Foundation which is their way of supporting their lifestyle. Why does Huma Abedin know this is a mess and you don't think it is? It was a mess about who was going to go there yeah. because she's now right. a presidential candidate. Yeah. And Bill Clinton went there. Mess resolved and, and the poor I'm people who that, that foundation are helping are getting yeah. the help still. I, I'm glad you brought that up because, Aaron, the email we were discussing yesterday, he said Bill went and he's right. And in the internal email that we were looking at yesterday, it was people within the foundation talking about the fact that they're being subjected to check and balances, but Bill Clinton gets to take money from whatever governments, take money from speeches, and they said, quote, he is more conflicted every day. Sending Bill, does that make it any better that he's the one there collecting the check and then on the hook for the favor down the road when the king who gave $12 million calls the president of the United States and says, hey, guess what? I need the U.S. to do this for me. Remember, I gave you $12 million bucks. The hits just keep on coming with the Clintons. It's one example of pay for play after the next, after the next, after the next. They clearly don't care about humans because of all of these human rights violations in that country. They don't care about people at large, and they don't care about the American people. They care about lining their pockets. This is just yet another of many examples of just how corrupt they actually are. Yeah. Hadley, how do you respond to the claim, you know, when they say they're just taking this money to help people? Oh, if only it were so. You know, there's a lot of charitable enterprises in the United States and around the world that do wonderful things for uh, many people. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be involved with a very powerful office, like being Secretary of State or potentially becoming the President of the United States, then you are obligated to reveal any conflict of interest that you might have. And uh, certainly when it comes to the Clinton Foundation, this is, again, not the only example that we see of the Clintons being involved, yeah. uh, having their hands in a lot of different pockets. There's a here. reason so, there's a law against political candidates taking money from foreign governments when they're running for office right. against the law guys thank you